Hey guys, what's up? Shane Wolf 38 here. Now today I just have a little video on a machine that I made that will get the player's world coordinates and is able to teleport them back to where they were. Now I'd like to apologize beforehand if my voice is a little raspy. I've been sick the past week, which you know sucks. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to say that I'm not the first person to do this. The first person to do this was Wobby Concepts and yeah, I'm going to leave a link to his in the eh, in the description. It's pretty cool. But one thing about it is that it's in 1.8 and this one's in 1.9. His uses a different method, which I guess I don't like as much. And it just kind of, it's a little bit laggier. And also, I think it takes a bit more command blocks. So this is just my own version. And that his also doesn't have decimal places. Mine has up to one decimal place. I could have added more, but that's really unnecessary. I mean, one decimal place is already a lot of accuracy. But, okay. Anyway, let's get right into this and how you can use it for your map. One way or one thing that you can make with it is black holes, as I showed in my previous video. But that's not the best way to make black holes. That was just kind of a proof of concept. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, what you can do is, let's say you're anywhere in the map, you can press a button or activate something and it will grab that player's world coordinates. Then you can teleport that person to another place or have them do something and then teleport them back to where they were before. Now, of course, you could use armor stands for this and then just teleport them to the previous armor stand. But the main problem with that is that if you're not in the loaded chunks then it's not going to work because armor stands aren't going to be loaded. And if the armor stands aren't loaded, then you're not going to be able to teleport to them. But this, even if the chunks aren't loaded, it'll teleport you to them, which is pretty cool. And in addition to that, you can have this for multiplayer. So you could have a bunch of people teleport back to where they were, which would be a lot harder to do with armor stands because you wouldn't know whose armor stand was who unless you used an ID system. And even with that, if you did it all in the same tick, it would not really work out too well. Let's just say that. Okay, so let's get right into how to set this up. So to set it up for single player, we're going to press this button. And then we're just going to remove this row and remove this command. For multiplayer, we're going to press this button and then remove this row and uh, remove this command. But... So we're in single player right now, so we didn't need to worry about any of that. So or any of this side. So we're just going to press this button, remove this, and then we can just remove this whole entire multiplayer row because we don't need that. And to grab a player's coordinates for single player, we can press this button. You can see my coordinates right now are three four three four three point five fifty six and four five. Whoops, 456.4. And if we go over here, we can press this, and it will actually display those coordinates. And you can see it is accurate up to one decimal place. And you can see with the negative, it's kind of to the 0.6. That's actually because it was closer to 0.6 than it was to 0.5. So it just rounded technically down. <laughs> so that's, yeah, it's not really a difference. All right, now let's see over here. We can then press this to teleport back, but there's no point since we're like right here. So I'm just going to teleport to some area in the world. I'm actually, I'll just use a spread players command. Uh, let's, let's go for 10,000. And okay, so now we're in the, oh, look at that. That's a pretty cool X coordinate. All right, so I just set this up. So this is going to grab my coordinates. Oh. Oh, it's actually, oh, I should probably have turned that off. Hey, okay, whatever, whatever. And, uh, yeah, let's, hold up. Let's run that again. Let's run it at 555. Five, five. And then to mark my position, we're just going to kind of do this. And you can see I'm in that block right there. I'll just place a wood block under it. Okay, and now we're going to go back to... Let's go to zero, zero, zero. Well, actually, not zero, zero, zero. Let's put me up here. All right. And now I believe this is the command to teleport back. So, yep. And now we're right back where we were. As you can see, and these, these chunks were unloaded because this is really far away from zero, zero, zero. But it teleported me back, and you can see the decimal. <laughs> the decimal. Okay. So, that's awesome. And you can do... 
well a lot with that I'm just gonna kill myself to get back to the main spawn now <laughs> to run these I basically set up block data and what you do is you just activate a block data and set it to auto 1b as you can see this command right here and all of these use relative coordinates so a schematic is gonna work although one thing right now is I'm gonna give a, a world download because for some reason my MC edit is just not working so you guys have to turn it into a schematic if you want to import it and it does it uses all relative coordinates so it'll work fine uh, here we go yeah if you are gonna be constantly inputting commands like let's say you activate this and then one tick later you activated it again you actually need to change these to repeating command blocks and don't worry it's they're always gonna be off they only run when they're needed so it's not gonna cause any lag you just need to change them to repeating command blocks and I mean everything except this you don't change this you change this 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 and this and that's because if you have an impulse command block and you run it two times in one or let's say you run it in two consecutive ticks even if this is on auto 0b and then it changes it back it's still not gonna run it only does that for repeating command blocks now I'm not sure why that is but it doesn't really matter you need to change them <laughs> so yeah and then that's about it so you just you activate this and this will grab the players coordinates or in multiplayer you'd activate this and then you'd activate this to teleport them back now with multiplayer you're gonna notice that I have over here it's just executing at everybody and summoning an armor stand if you want that to be specific then you need to specify who or your who you want a tag or a score who you want to get the coordinates and over here it's giving everybody the tag so you if you don't want everybody to be teleported you need to specify again who you're teleporting this is a bit more advanced well not too advanced but you know if you're gonna make a map with this and you need to be doing various other things you're gonna need to specify in these who you want getting the coordinates and who you want teleporting at specific times so you may need multiple ones of these and uh, just to clarify what this is doing all this is doing is running this over here and then if it's multiplayer it's actually going to then run this but if it's not it's not going to run this so single player is a little bit less laggy and this over here it runs this too so both of them just activate this the only difference is that multiplayer also runs this afterwards to give the players their score back and whatnot and um the summon command is also a bit different there's a tag added in there but anyway that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed the video there's a lot of different uses for this and it's very helpful as you can see i've been working on um pokey ca recently you know, pokemon pretty awesome i'm definitely gonna leave a link to the description or in the description i don't know why i said to description to the map in the description or and phoenix's youtube channel who is the uh, I don't even know the word for that coordinator, the owner, the creator, I guess. Yeah, there we go. That's it. That's the best word. And we use it to basically when we teleport someone away to a battle, we use it to teleport them back to where they were in the map beforehand so we don't have to kill them and use the spawn point because that was a bit, you know, irritating to do. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.